Just really excited to be doing, taking this journey. Oh, purple. What's up, TT3 fan? Welcome back to another vlog, y'all. So, I haven't vlogged in like maybe a few four days, something like that. We just been chilling, okay? Um, chilling, been finding a little bit to do around here. I found the boys an indoor playground, which was nice. <laughs> Shoot it! And you know, just been running to a few stores. We took a walk around the neighborhood, which was nice. I found a little park. So you know, we just been chilling locally, you know. It's been kind of rainy, um, cloudy for like a whole week, but it's still nice outside. Like it's like 60, 60 something today. We've been having some nice weather here, okay? I am like, this is good weather to me, okay? Back in Fort Riley right now, it's snowing, okay? So I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm feeling so good about the weather here. Like, I love Georgia weather. It's really rainy, what I'm noticing, but I would honestly rather have rain than snow. Y'all seen us, we brought the snow for just a day. Uh, my bad. My people came in from Michigan. I just moved here from Kansas. We brought a little bit of snow with us, you know what I'm saying? But it's gone. We, we took it back. So we good now. <laughs> Enjoying like this nice weather. Like it just feels so good here, y'all. I love it here. Today is an exciting day because I have a, a consultation with the midwife. I think I have found the midwife that I'm going with. That's my phone. Hold on. All right, I'm back. <laughs> And I'm late. Ah, got on the phone with my sister, and we were just talking and talking and talking. And now I'm late. So I think I was saying I have a midwife appointment today, y'all. I am going for it with my home birth, like I want. So yes, I am um, just doing a consultation. I think she's gonna be the one. So I'm gonna go meet with her and do just like the initial consultation, and you know all that good stuff so i'm really excited um about like just going forth and doing it because low-key it was kind of hard for me not really hard for me to find one but kind of like i didn't really understand the process of finding a midwife and you know if my insurance will cover it and all of that so i was just gonna punk out and do it the regular way <laughs> just go find an ob give birth in the hospital but i was like you know i just really don't want to do it that way i really 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 want to have a home birth i have this beautiful house now that i will feel comfortable in to do a home birth and let me just go ahead and take a leap of faith that's why they have consultations to kind of educate you on stuff and how things go and you know all of that i'm like if i don't never ask questions i'm not gonna never know what to do so i'm just really glad i took a step out you want these I'm really glad I took a step out of on faith, okay, and um, just went ahead and booked my consultation. I'm just gonna go for it with doing the the home birth that I want to do. So I'll explain the whole home birth process over probably on my channel as far as information and cost and you know all the how I found the midwife and all that good stuff. Um, I'll do like an in-depth video about it why I want to do a home birth and you know all of that so yeah i'm just really excited to be doing it and i'm on my way to my appointment even though i'm a little bit late she said it was okay so you know what i'm saying i'm trying to chill try not to you know when somebody tell you it's okay that you running behind and you still be trying to like rush it's like girl okay let me calm down she said it was cool let me just relax let me not speed out here and getting a ticket come on hold hands Okay, Ozzy don't want to hold his hands. He want to be brave. He want to be big. He want to be bold. Let him go. Ozzy don't never want no help, Lord. And then he want me to wait. 
No, you got it, bro. No way. Anyway, consultation went no, good. No way. I'm waiting, I think. Consultation went really good. Um, no just, way. Oh my God, okay. I just want me to get uh, and then I step two steps back and no uh, uh he got it. Look, I don't know what to do with this. No, I got it, Mom. Okay, all right. No, I got okay, it. son. Mom move. Anyway. Consultation went good. No, I'm just so yeah. That just made me like really that even more excited. Oh, that is an owl to do a home birth, so I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I got some good information that I needed. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to be doing, taking this journey. My home birth. Oh. Lord, I know it ain't nothing to be excited over going through this labor pain, but look, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful pain, okay? I see the owl, Isaac. Isaac just been yelling at me like, made it home. I am so sleepy. Kids are sleepy. Isaac laying down in my beauty room, but I was up to like 5 a.m. So I hardly got sleep. I'm so tired. I'm gonna try to keep myself up so I can go to sleep early tonight. But y'all, look at all this delightful stuff. Look at all of this. I went Amazon crazy. Yes, I did. I'm still waiting on. That's a mixer. So you can help me mix stuff when we make cakes, even though we don't never make cakes. <laughs> It came with the set, okay? I needed some new mixing bowls, and look at all of this, like. I'm just so excited for all of this. I got my pantry stuff. I got more coming. They actually should be at the front door because they were supposed to come today, but I'll go look in a minute. But I got my little pantry things. Y'all, I love these. I found these um, at Home Goods, but they didn't have like a whole set. So I found them on Amazon, the um, OXO brand. And they like the pop lids, love love these and i got some more of these you know for all the pantry stuff um i got a few of my plates i thought these was gonna be bigger i wanted them to be like big serving plates but that's how they looking right there <laughs> and these match my plate set i got also got coming it's like a whole bunch of square white dishes that's the look i'm going for square bowls and stuff like that so yes these are all my um Food storage containers, I am done with plastic, Tupperware. So I got glass with the um, airtight lids. Y'all, I love this set. I'll put all this stuff, like all the home stuff that I bought uh, from Amazon, I'll put it down below in my Amazon store and I'll create like a little home, you know, section in my store so y'all can see where I got all of this stuff. And y'all, I'm just, I'm so in love. I'm so excited to like just cook something. Like look at all this stuff I got. I'm excited to bake something. I don't even bake, but just cause I got this, <laughs> I gotta bake some. Let me check and see. Al, you need to put your shoes in the shoe room. But I'm gonna see if I got some more packages today. No more packages today, but I should be getting everything like tomorrow or Saturday with the rest of the stuff that I got. I also got some pregnancy leggings, y'all. Let me show y'all these, cause these are just, I have not been able to find like pregnancy pants. I cannot do maternity pants. I bought like three pair. They're all too big. I'm just too petite. <laughs> I get like extra smalls, okay? And they still be just too big. So girl, I found me some pregnancy leggings and I'm like, okay, this is it. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all these leggings. Oh, girl, I love these. Now I got these in an extra small. They go above, it's like a little support thing right here, which I love, cause it's not like um, flimsy. Like y'all love, love these. Nice quality. At first I didn't think that these would be like good quality, cause I found them on Amazon, they was like pretty cheap for a two pack. But they are really good quality, I love these. I'm glad I went ahead and got two packs, so I got four pair total. These is gonna be my pants for the rest of my pregnancy because I'm just uncomfortable in anything else. Leggings is the only thing that'll do it for me. And the fact that I found some like pregnancy support leggings is just like, oh my God. Where these been? Okay, where these been my whole pregnancy? But I'm about to make me and Al some hot dogs because I got a taste for some hot dogs. And Al said he wants some hot dogs. So we just gonna eat some hot dogs. Show y'all what we be eating. That's so lit. Y'all, these turkey hot dogs. So I'm about to just put some of these on 
the grill. Boy, hush, you gonna eat the turkey. This is what you always eat. Just cause I said turkey, he think it's something different. They just hot dogs, okay? They just hot dogs, I promise. Oh, they done broke my shit. Oh, hell. This is broke. Wow. They done broke my stuff, Al. The movers, they broke my stuff. Yep, this screw was missing. I had to put back in there. That sucks. Y'all, I love my new trash can. I found the most expensive trash can. Look at this. Countdown. <laughs> Boom! Oh, yeah, I love this. It is a 21 gallon trash can. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade because the one we had before was 13 gallons, just like you know, regular size trash. But I found myself having to pull the trash like every single day, and we had all these bags that we eventually put into the um the big black bag. So I'm like, that's a waste of plastic, waste of trash bag. So I just got the 21 gallon um can, so I can put the 30 gallon bags in there. And girl, I am loving. God, just look at it. Oh. I was gonna get one for recycling, but it don't have like a can on the inside. Like this thing is so cool. It's just like a liner right there that keeps the bag nice and neat and you know, tucked away in there. So I'm gonna get something else for recycling. This will definitely be in my Amazon store, so go check it out. Links down below. Yes, it was expensive, but I definitely think it's worth it. Like I love this trash can, y'all. And look. Get the kids motivated to throw their stuff away too. They love opening. Like this. Yep. Just do it once. Do it once. There we go. It opens. Yep. <laughs> they love throwing stuff away. They be fighting on go who gonna open the trash can. Like Lord. Isaac is still asleep. I'm about to wake him up because we not having another night like that. He was up with me at like 3 a.m. Isaac, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Just knocked out. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, he's still asleep. I still have not tackled these boxes, Mommy, so just excuse up. all of that. Don't wake him up. We gotta wake him up. Wake up, Tooties. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, he gonna wake up so grouchy. I already know it. Wake up. I'd rather you be grouchy than you be staying up all the wee hours of the morning. Wake up, Tootie. Mm -mm. What is that? That is my certificate from college. My it's stuck. Yeah, it's bubble wrapped. I still gotta get all this stuff out. Ooh, that wind just said something to us. Y'all hear that wind? Lord. He's got a weird personality. <laughs> Lexi is calling me cringy. Mm -mm. Wins. How am I cringy? Like you, what? You don't even know what cringy means. Rather, it's it's a weird personality. <laughs> a weird personality. Like, no, she talking about some. Wow, you cringy. Your mama. <laughs> yeah.
Apple. Look, she talking about some. I should get on also, TikTok and do the cringe. I don't even know what that is. That's Cause I'm already cringy. Also, you can also be like, also on TikTok, you can also be like, uh, falling down. The rain is underwater. I'm putting you on my blog. And I know that I'm a wonder. <laughs> we are strong. We are brave. We are who we're meant to be. We are who. We are good. We are everything I need. This is me. She's well, doing a TikTok right on FaceTime. Slow mo. You, you can also do slow mo. Basically, like this. Kids not dead, so y'all. Like okay. <laughs> it's like this. Don't. Don't, uh, like, don't hug. When he comes through the door, it's like this. <laughs> don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. He's coming. And then mm -hmm. the restart. Don't talk to him. He's coming. What the hell? Restart. <laughs> don't talk to him. He's coming. And eventually, you're just going to get a lot of views because they're going to be watching it for, like, an hour. Cause, like, what? What? <laughs> Do y'all see what's behind me again? Do you see it? I put on my headboard and my bed last night. I'm about to show y'all because I'm superwoman. Okay, pregnant superwoman. Just doing it all. But like I told y'all before, it is like so easy to put this stuff up. And this um, bed frame, so easy. Just mm, love it. Excuse my messy bed, but here it is. Here is the bed frame. It's a matching bed frame from ventpanels.com it's the same leather material that is the same as the headboard love it love it love it we just gotta get some nightstands to kind of complete the look or we was thinking about ordering more panels and having like a total like having the panel start like from the ground all the way up so our whole wall can be the headboard i think that'll be dope too so that's my bed i love it i love it i love it and I love, love being higher up. Our last bed was just completely terrible. Like that little cheap thing that I, it was horrible. <laughs> that was the worst bed frame. Like it was just so janky. Like you would cut your leg getting out of bed because the wood didn't align. It was just, it was terrible. But I just love being higher up on the bed. For some reason, it just feels so much better than being so like low to the ground because our last bed frame was like, you know, real platform-ish. I guess this is still a platform. I don't know. It's just a lot higher up and it just feels so good. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm still trying to press through and keep myself up. I'm so tempted to lay down. I'm so tempted to go to sleep. But I know if I go to sleep, I'm going to be up all morning again. I do not want that. So, because we got a fun day tomorrow too. Um, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And I wanted to get out early and take the boys to a matinee show because I do not want to you know take them to a, a packed theater because i don't know how they gonna act okay so i wanted to um catch up like a early show because they want to see sonic so i'm gonna take the boys to see that we just gonna hang out like, tomorrow and have like some fun i need to like get my sleep for the night so i can be prepared for tomorrow okay because running around with them two is a whole full-time job and um just what i did today just taking them to my appointment with me was just a whole like just job so i'm gonna try keep my little eyes open for another at least couple hours and then you know get ready for bed clean up But I'm proud of myself that I got all the boxes, everything that I unpacked so far into one place. I'm not done yet. I still got to flatten everything, y'all. But hey, at least I got to start where, you know, I have like a clean open room where I, you know, have space to do all this because all these boxes was just everywhere. 
around the house. Still got a few things boxed up, but I'm making progress. I'm not rushing myself, which is what I've been trying not to do, especially since I've been feeling all the cramping and, you know, kind of scared myself about <laughs> premature labor. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm taking my time. There is no rush. I haven't been running out to furniture stores trying to look for a couch. Like all of this, it can wait, okay? Can y'all tell that I am like, I'm through. It's 11.07 now, but so that's good because I'm like really sleepy at the right time. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff out the way. Do y'all see it? I gotta wash this stuff. Yeah, I wanna get this stuff clean, especially before all my other stuff comes. So <sighs> let me go ahead and knock this out. Nope, nope, never mind. I ain't doing it. I'm so, so tired. Them dishes will be there tomorrow, okay? I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tapping out. I'm about to get ready for bed and um, we'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. Bye. <laughs>